Let's do the cheapest arboreal enclosure with front side opening. There is a lot of ways that you can keep tarantulas, arboreal tarantulas. I see that a lot of you in America are using those plastic ones similar to this that has top lid that screws on, but this one is glass. What I dislike about those enclosure, they are really inaccessible. You have small opening and then you it's just not practical enough. Now I will try to do uh, the Ferrero Rocher enclosure. Same design like this Ferrero Rocher, but bigger. You will need one plastic bin. You will need something to make holes. Whatever you use, I will use this drill. You need a cutting knife and you will need some tape. But you can get stronger one than this. Now when choosing correct bin it is crucial that you get one that has some sort of lashes that uses for closing. You see something like this or also something like this would also work. Don't get just something like this. Don't get something that snaps inside like this. This won't work. It needs to be when it's closed you need to be able to you see open it. It shouldn't hold on on these sides. Why is this crucial? You will see later. First thing you need to do, you need to cut this top lid like like this. You can use jigsaw, you can use Dremel tool or I will try to use a simple box cutting knife. I think that it should work. Try to cut it straight, unlike me. Oh, and try not to break it. Maybe the jigsaw is better in this situation. I broke a piece, but I hope it won't matter. I will just cut it off and hopefully it will be fine. Now depending on the design of your front lid, you will need to cut this part like this and this. That way the lid will be able to bend in this direction. Because if you don't do that, you see, you can't really... It gets in the way. And for this I will use Dremel tool. Something like that. Remember to protect your eyes if you don't have glasses like me. Since this is not straight, I need to straight this line because it will it will cause some trouble. Now we need to silicon this part with the rest of the box. And also since this will be arboreal, it will be standing like this. This thing is getting in the way, so I will also cut all of this. Now without that getting in the way, this will be much more stable. All of these things depends on the design of box that you buy. You see, if you have something like this, you will need to remove this and also all of this. So as I said, silicone this on this. Be aware of one thing. Silicone is not really designed for plastics. It will hold, but don't expect too much from it. You can also use hot glue gun or some other glue that you have. Just try it out and see which one holds. To make sure it holds well, I will add this tape, like that. That is for some additional strength. And also since I won't be waiting for silicone to cure, it is good to have something else holding it there. Now front lid. Now you can be all fancy and use acrylic hinges here or just regular hinges and silicone them on front lid. But to make this super super simple, I will use just 
this regular tape. You can also get the wider one and the one that is more stronger, but I don't have that thing at the moment. Just tape it like that. Just like that. Add few extra layers for additional strength. And that is your most basic and most simplest hinge you can get. And now, ta-da, it works. It's not super strong, but to help it out, I will also put another layer of tape here. It's not necessary, but why not? And make sure to add it in this position, in the top lowest position of your front lid. Now, would you look at that? The most simplest and the most cheapest arboreal enclosure that actually works. And unlike me, if you cut this straight, it will look much, much nicer. Oh damn, I forgot to make holes for ventilation, but you see, <laughs> I made this hole yesterday. I was testing out this this tool for making holes and this was supposed to be here, not here. Damn, I wasn't paying attention. I will just put some tape over it. Not a problem, right? When you have tape here and also from within. There we go. And no one will ever notice. Now to make some holes. This is amazing thing. Now this thing is amazing. You can make holes from this size all the way to this size. If you have a drill, you need to have this. I will put Amazon links in the description for majority of stuff that I use for making this enclosure, including this thing. And if you don't have this, get it. You need it, you will love it. Now you must be wondering, Petco, but why are you making this enclosure? You have ton of arboreal enclosures already. One thing you don't know, I have one unplanned addition and I need to house it somewhere and making proper enclosure takes time but I need to house it like yesterday <laughs> so that's why I was thinking about cheap arboreal enclosure in the first place because I needed the enclosure for that tarantula and I didn't have anything that I could use and I think that this is really neat design now second question arises what tarantula? well we'll get to that but first I need a cork bark tube second this will have to do so coco fiber all of this you will have amazon links coco fiber cork bark tube and other stuff i will probably do the same thing for the pezzoteria sofusca until i get the proper enclosure who i need more coco fiber the most basic of the basics i mean instead of cork bark tube you can put some plastic tube it would serve the purpose the big reveal is here should i tell you what's inside or should you guess i think that i will get it outside and see if you can guess what it is okay let's open it what is that it is another pezzalteria <laughs> how to handle this situation who wants to take bets will or will not bolt place your bets now There we go. Ooh, we have nice pokey stands. Awesome. Did anyone guess the species name? It is the Pezzalteria vitata. 
Now this female is an actual gift from a subscriber, a subscriber from Croatia. His name is Philip and he watches my videos from the very beginning of this channel. So huge shout out to you Philip and also shout out to your girlfriend but I forgot her name. <laughs> he was watching my video about the Pezzoteria poster and where I showed my Pezzoteria collection and he saw that I'm missing Vitata and since he was trying to sell his he decided to give it for the Dark Den collection. So here it is now. Show some love for Philip in the comment section. Now to add this girl. She really isn't going anywhere. Oh. There we go. She went behind. You can see her here. Oh. <laughs> Let's close this off. And voila. Awesome. And there we go, for a price of 20 kunas, this is roughly like 3 euros or 3 dollars, that's the price of this tub. So 3 euros for that, some tape that you already have, something to cut that you probably already have, some glue or silicone or whatever you have at home, and pff, you have a functional arboreal enclosure. That in the same time looks alright. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So I see you again very soon. Bye!